Hey everyone, happy Monday. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Waller's Wallet where I teach you about credit cards, points, miles, cash back, and show you how to use it to travel for less. And today we're gonna take a look on how you can decide whether to keep, downgrade, or cancel your credit card when your annual fee comes due. You should always be looking at your credit card rotation to make sure those credit cards in your rotation help you reach your goals. That means we need to evaluate the benefits and the annual fee of those credit cards in our rotation. That doesn't mean if a credit card has an annual fee that we're going to just cancel it. The annual fee is just one piece of the picture and we need to take a look at the whole picture before we decide if that annual fee is worth keeping. The question you should always ask yourself is do the benefits I receive from this credit card outweigh the annual fee? If you decided the credit card benefits outweigh the annual fee, you're going to keep that credit card, but you're not done yet. You still want to reach out to the bank for a retention offer. You should always reach out to the bank for a retention offer regardless if you plan to keep the credit card or not. So what is a retention offer? A retention offer is an offer by the bank to help persuade you to keep that credit card. This can come in the form of a credit statement, extra points, or even waiving the annual fee. Sometimes banks will tie your retention offer to the amount of money you spend on that credit card. And sometimes banks won't even give you a retention offer regardless of how much you spend on that credit card. I personally use Flyer Talk to see what retention offers other individuals have received. It kind of gives me a ballpark what I could expect for a retention offer. And a good retention offer can keep a credit card you were planning on canceling into keeping for another year. So you've compared the benefits to your annual fee and you've decided the fee outweighs the benefits. When this happens, we can decide to either downgrade or cancel our credit card. Let's take a look at downgrading our credit card. You decided your credit card was no longer worth the annual fee and you didn't receive a retention offer or the retention offer wasn't enticing enough for you to keep the credit card. But you have a reason to keep a similar credit card in your portfolio. When you downgrade your credit card, you're moving from a higher end credit card to a lower end credit card. And this usually comes with a lower earning rate, a lower annual fee, and even fewer benefits than the card you're downgrading from. An example of this would be if you had the Chase Sapphire Reserve and you downgraded your credit card to the Chase Freedom. So here are some reasons why you should consider downgrading as opposed to canceling your credit card. When you downgrade your credit card, you keep the history associated with that credit card. So over time, this is going to help your credit score. If you have credit card points remaining on your account, this is going to keep your points alive as opposed to canceling them, you're going to lose those credit card points. And lastly, this keeps the relationship with that bank alive. If you are going to downgrade your credit card, take a look at the bank rules about earning the credit card bonus for the card you are downgrading to and the card you are downgrading from. In most cases, you need to downgrade your credit card to the same family of credit cards. So for example, you cannot downgrade your IHG credit card to a Chase Freedom credit card. Additionally, you cannot convert a charge card to a credit card. For example, you cannot downgrade your American Express Platinum to the American Express Everyday credit card. Now let's take a look at canceling our credit card. You decided the annual fee outweighs the benefits on your credit card. You didn't receive a retention offer that met your expectations and you don't want to downgrade your credit card. But before you cancel your credit card, here are a few things that you need to keep in mind. If you have points in your credit card account, you wanna make sure you're not going to forfeit those points the second you cancel your credit card. Some issuers will give you a certain time frame in order to use those credit card points before you lose them. If you're going to preemptively transfer your points to one of their transfer partners, remember programs do devalue, so keep that in mind when you move your points to a particular program. And lastly, this is one of the more important parts of canceling your credit card. Some banks will allow you to transfer your available credit to one of your other credit cards within that bank. And this is important because this is gonna keep our utilization low and our total credit the same. Not all banks will allow this, so be sure to check with the credit card issuer to see if they will allow you to move your available balance to another credit card within that bank. So to sum it up, decisions to keep, downgrade, or cancel a credit card are gonna be individualized based on your goals. You always wanna call the bank for a retention offer regardless if you plan to keep the credit card or not. And when you do decide to downgrade or cancel your credit card, make sure you've done all the proper housekeeping with those credit cards. So tell me, how do you decide whether you wanna keep, downgrade, or cancel a credit card? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. Remember, I post new videos every Thursday. So if you like learning about credit cards, points, miles, cashback, or just flat out traveling for less, consider hitting that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you all on Thursday. Safe travels and take care.